everyone. As rough as the winter has been on our moods and our bodies, it's been even tougher on our cars, unfortunately. Joining us now, Kimberly Hazen with the Better Business Bureau with what you should know before you hit the repair shop. Those potholes have been rough out there. They have, and we keep hitting the same ones. <laughs> I know, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Right over by my home on Watts Road. Yeah, it's, yep. just, it's bad. Yeah, so. and winter in general is just rough on cars. Yeah. And wear and tear, sliding, slipping. Uh, rear ending things like that so, so of course you know if you are in that situation what do you do before you hit the repair shop what do you need to know how to find a reputable company yeah break it down for us ask ask around talk mm -hmm. to your friends talk to your neighbors talk to your family find out where their success stories are happening mm -hmm. and then check those companies out with the BBB um, our website has you know thousands of reports on companies locally all over the place um, you can check their reliability if they've had any complaints how they've revolved resolve those complaints and uh, and we rate them a plus to f so you can really get an idea of what uh, how a company will handle handle things um, the next thing you want to do is you kind of want to scope out the garage first you mm -hmm. know um, you, you want to see you know are the are the repair bays clean are they organized you know do you get a good feel for the shop um, you know, sometimes what you can do is you can give them a small repair, let them change the oil, see how sure. you like working with them. And then if you have a bigger repair, like all of us might need alignments, then you're, you can, you know, try them out for the larger repair. Maybe it's like with so. anything else, maybe be a babysitter or... Yeah. Uh, yeah. you know salon I mean yeah just yeah. out and start see. with a little job <laughs> gotta ask you yeah. uh, what about uh, like scammers is this something that maybe during this time of the year they pops up as well or maybe um, people not so much I think the 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 one thing you want to make sure that you're understanding is that you get it all in writing and mm -hmm. that you understand what you're reading so okay. if you have a nice big fat contract to repair something that you really want to understand what all those uh, stipulations are in the contract um, and also make sure you agree upon a price so if you're if you're you've been told that the estimated repair is a certain amount get that in writing and then also make sure they get your approval if they go over that so you, what you don't want is somebody automatically doing repairs without your permission always so important to get yeah. things in writing that's for sure Kimberly and talking yeah. about real quick uh, if you think your car might be a lemon if you think your car might be a lemon or if you're having trouble dealing with the warranty um, the manufacturer's warranty on your car mm -hmm. um, that could fall under our auto line program which is a dispute resolution program for the lemon law um, and just call the BBB tell us your woes and we can help you figure that out as always if you have any questions BBB.org Kimberly, thanks as always, and hopefully if you do have to get your car checked out, everything goes well and uh, enjoy it. Yeah. Spring's around the corner, I promise. Stick with us. Speaking of which, we'll have a final check on the weather right after the break.